We know you can protect your home and your family if someone breaks in and you confront them. But what happens when you see thieves trying to steal things from your car, a car that's on the street? Well, tonight, the story of a man who confronted the people trying to steal tires, and he had a knife, and he used it. He's now charged with manslaughter. It happened in the Nassau County hamlet of Bellrose with the story. Here's Kristen Thorne. Police say although 28-year-old Jacob Alvarenga Mejia was attempting to stop three men from stealing from his car, they believe Mejia was the aggressor in the situation. It was 1.30 a.m. on May 13th when police say Mejia spotted the men attempting to steal the tires and rims from his Toyota Highlander, which was parked on the street outside Mejia's home in Belrose Village. They say Mejia ran out from his house armed with a large kitchen knife. As they were getting in that car, Mr. Mejia came up from behind and the last individual trying to get into the car, he stabbed multiple times in the back. 22-year-old Luis Pena of the Bronx was killed. Police say someone who fled with Pena in the car fired off shots as they were fleeing the scene. We do know who they are. Uh, they have been, uh, they turned themselves into New York City. Police say those two men will most likely face charges as well. Pena's family was in court today in Nassau County as Mejia was arraigned. Anything you want to say about the news? They did not want to speak with reporters, neither did Mejia's family. Mejia's attorney says Mejia has no prior criminal history. We'll have an investigator look at what the people are alleging. We, as they said on the record, I, we think it's a uh, scenario is a bit different than what was described. Was he defending his property, defending himself? Not going to get into that right now. People who live around the neighborhood are stunned about the situation. I perfectly understand it's my car, but I don't think so. Is you getting aggressive with another person is going to be the answer. Police say two months ago someone stole Mejia's catalytic converter, and they believe that perhaps prompted his response in this incident. Mejia is being charged with manslaughter and assault. He's being held on $1 million bond.